and gone through a drive through to get your food or even go to a drive-in theater to watch a movie. But have you ever gone to a drive-in all-you-can-eat? This is the first time I've ever seen this. So I'm gonna take mm. you guys along and show you guys what it is all about. What is up everybody? It is your girl Ni. Nee, if you don't know me and welcome back to another video or welcome to this channel if you guys are just clicking in and seeing this face for the first time. I hope this video finds you guys well. Today I am taking you guys along with me to eat and we're gonna eat a lot because this place is an all you can eat. I am Vietnamese. I eat Vietnamese food every single day but if there's something I would have to eat every other day it would have to be Japanese food. I mean, we live in Canada, but I have been to Japan and I've tried the authentic food. I love the food. I would eat it every single day. Ontario, we are still on lockdown. There's no dining in right now, right? No. There's no dining in right now. I'm with my sister. Restaurants have been suffering. It's very unfortunate. I've seen some close down. Some of my favorite spots close down and it just really sucks. But this right here, is really something and it is smart it's a drive-in and eat concept this is something you could send to your favorite restaurant that they could do especially during these times if they can't open up we got to support local businesses the place that we are going to is called august 8 it initially started in hamilton there's a few locations here but they're expanding all over ontario there's some in oakville there's one in burlington even toronto i want to give a huge shout out to crystal happy belated birthday i saw your comment hope you had an amazing one with your family even through this year but everyone is in this together we'll make it through stay safe pulling up to the all you can eat august 8 in stony creek i'll leave the location down here if you plan on going to the drive-in all you can eat you gotta call in for reservations make sure you guys are prepared you do not want to be disappointed if you come and they don't have any parking spots or it's too busy for you at the august 8 dim sum and sushi told you about chinese food and japanese but the parking lot i think those people in that car i think people even around here i saw the server bring food over there too but they got this whole parking space you still have to get out of your car first when you arrive here to check in They got my name, my number, just to confirm for the reservations. They had to grab your license plate, so make sure you remember it. You also have to pay ahead, so cancels out people from dining and dashing and driving away so easily. For two people, it costs $93.54. It's a little more than what we usually pay when we go in. Canadian weather is so weird right now. It's snowing in spring. Yeah, the other piece of paper is the code. They don't give you a menu or anything. This is all through your phone. Pull up your camera app. You point it at this code right here and a tab down should pop up a link and you click the link and it should get you right to the menu. It provided like a password so no random person in the parking lot could order the food see how this goes i'm excited same exact menu as like when we dine in it's just that everything's gonna be in like takeout containers when it comes out to your car instead of plates this place got some chinese food there's taipoyaki uh the grilled items i guess oh right here is where we're gonna make our money's worth sashimi and all that stuff this is tataki mmm Okay, can't wait. Yeah, everything is the exact same of how we remember it regularly going in to eat. Feels like two years ago. This is torch. Oh my god. The blowtorch sushi here is so good. Yeah, let me know in the comments what is your favorite roll to get when you eat sushi. I will show you mine in a bit when it comes out. There's a special. Oh yeah. Look at that. There's the pizza. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a pizza. Rice. Rice. Udon. And then desserts. And another thing with here when ordering is you can only order five items per person at a time, but you have two hours to. So we got five items here in the cart. You have to type in the password that they give you so people don't randomly order stuff from the parking lot and they know which car you're in because 
they took all that information when you checked in and paid before going back into your car provided us with a bag like this and inside soy sauce wasabi chopsticks forks in case we don't know how to use chopsticks spoons napkins and our food just came out we got some miso soup they're in takeout containers distance was just like a few meters away from the door we had to park like really up close to it it's easier for the servers still nice and warm i love miso soup mm, seaweed salad there's more coming of course we're gonna order a lot more than this i love the variety when it comes to these types of all you can eat mm. okay we kind of have some problems here because there's no table clearly it is our first time we're putting everything on the dash we really wish that there was like table or something we're just holding it and eating it out of the box sorry for the dirty ass like mats but we're also putting stuff on the ground so learn from us bring like a table or some sort of some tray that you get on amazon if you come here look at this the sashimi there's also i don't know if you guys want to see is the blow torch sushi oh, i love it here this is what my sister and i love to eat japanese people are probably going to be screaming if they see this um i like to put my wasabi inside of my soy sauce i like a lot because i want to feel it up in my nose yeah since we got our sashimi we got our blowtorch the blowtorch you don't really need the soy sauce for it but our sashimi we do piece right here dip that in mm. didn't blend up all of this wasabi in the sauce so there's chunks in there but i don't mind you know and let's take a hit of this oh, i'm so excited mm. bit of it oh my goodness so for this probably japanese mayo there's some pepper that i see in it or some seasoning this you don't need the soy sauce mm, 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 mm. so good and make a hundred dollars for two people worth it right here all the windows are fogging up right now enjoy it eat our best life right now we got our shrimp tempura i'm sure mm. it's ponzu sauce smells so good we got some barbecue items grilled items y'all short ribs i feel like every single time when they bring the food or they're at the window like i can never catch it in time but we just got our dim sum stuff what our family likes to eat is some chicken feet i know some people might be grossed out of this but if you haven't tried it give it a try you might like it if you don't finish it i will respectfully and proudly take it from you ginger tripe Ooh, it's still hot it's steaming my fingers are slightly burning. There's ginger in here. There's also carrots and scallions. Mm. Crunchy. I love it. If you like texture, give this a try. Service has been quick. Like, we're not waiting for over five minutes for our food or anything like that. I mean, when each item comes, there's a little breathing space. And then we just keep on eating, eating. Right now, we're waiting for round two. We smokes. It is snowing like crazy. That's why we have our windows up. Since we're in our cars, we can bring outside drinks. Of course, don't drink and drive. Today, we are drinking some vitamin water. They did ask us if we want water, but that is totally fine. We don't want any. And just to save them some work. Mm, what is that? Oh, the fried rice, yes seafood fried rice tempura yam what's this one open it up sis mm. oh here are the sushi rolls we got the tacos what kind of tacos are they oh they're supposed to be spicy salmon but they gave tempura and then we got the dynamite roll and the salmon roll i'll show you guys in a bit when i get the chopstick shot we got our sweet potato oh yes this right here is a sushi taco. This has shrimp tempura in it. It has some sriracha mayo and unagi sauce on it, I think. And there's cucumbers. If you look deep inside, you will see some avocado. 
Oh my god, you guys ready for some ASMR? Stop talking, let's eat. Mmm, mm, oh my god. Crunch satisfaction? Why does it remind me of a bun me somehow? I think it's okay. Dynamite roll. This is my favorite sushi roll ever. This has shrimp tempura in it. It also has some fish eggs, the shrimp tempura. There's some sesame seeds as well. Usually it comes with mayonnaise, but I don't really see it in here, but it's okay. Oh yeah, we're hitting a spot. It's another one of my favorites. We got the spicy salmon here. We'll dunk that in the soy sauce. One biter. Mm. Well, this one is a Philadelphia roll. See, this is Western sushi. I mean, the rolls mostly are westernized. This is not traditional, I'm just saying. More food. What is that? This has some cream cheese in it. Philadelphia roll. Soy sauce with it is better. This is a pizza. I'm gonna chase that down with our ginger. We freshen up our palate after this for more. Let's eat our salmon pizza. Raw salmon on top mixed with a whole bunch of sauces, but it's delicious. It's laid on top of a crispy rice patty. It's delicious. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Mm -mm. More dim sum stuff. This is the sticky rice. Sticky rice. Let's open up that present. So can't show you, but take a look inside. You see minced pork and you see the sticky rice. That's what it is. Oh my god! Look at this one. We had to go back and order more sashimi. I love surf clam. This one is salmon tataki. That one is smoked salmon. Even though it's in a takeout box look at the aesthetics bring me eating powers a bit of some wasabi i'm gonna order the last order and then some soy sauce mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. here we got our smoked salmon Salmon tataki. Ooh. Look at the outer of that. Looks like pepper. Looks like they just seared it slightly. Mm. I can fall asleep in this car right now. Another dim sum item that comes in steamed is this custard bun. And this thing. I have to say is my favorite thing to get here at August 8th. Oh my god. When we order this, we order like, I don't even know how many. It's dessert, it's sweet, and let me show you what is inside. It's nice and soft. Is that our food? No, it's not our food. Let me break it to you. Mmm. Look how steamy and hot. <sighs> Mm-hmm. The best in here. Our ice cream, we got some green tea, which is mine. And my sister got a scoop of some mango for herself. Yes. Because if I did show you every single thing I ate, I think this video would have been two hours. Ice cream. Boom, boom. Okay, obviously you're gonna have garbage, but you can give it to them and if you have leftovers you can also bring it home okay you guys this was the last item that we got and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what is your favorite sushi roll down below and what is your favorite type of ice cream as well if you guys want to know what i've been up to please follow me on my tiktok and also my instagram for bomb ass pictures of me I mean, more aesthetically, more baddie than me eating in the car. Yeah, and my handle is NHI underscore V0 for TikTok, NHI underscore V0 for Instagram as well. Tip them when you pay your bill in the beginning, paid for two people, 93.54. On top of that, I tip them 15%. And everything comes to like 100 
and something dollars do the math the food came nice and hot service was great everything came quick the food quality is just how we eat it when we come into the restaurant yeah i feel bad for them right now because it's like raining it's snowing they had to come out with their coats to give us our food asked me to come back in like a week and stuff I don't think so. I'd probably have to save up some money to come back because this is like $100. With COVID, with the pandemic, this is the new normal, eating in the car. Okay, I'm about to end the video here, finish off this ice cream that I have. I gotta stop talking and finish my food. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. The car battery died just before we were about to leave. Oh, my God. You don't know how embarrassing it is. We've been here, parked here for over three hours. The workers are probably like, yo, time's up. Why are these girls still here? Yeah, we got my sister's boyfriend help us out and jumpstart the car. So now we got to ride around so that it warms up the car, gets the electricity flowing. And when we were putting the cables and setting up, everyone that was eating was looking at us. So <laughs> it was embarrassing.